Okay, I'm gonna tag the other mic. She said, what's, what's going on? I'll tell you what's going on. Remember I said I didn't get any deliveries for a couple days because it must have been backed up because that's New Year's or something. Now it's all getting delivered in one day. Anyway, so this is the thing on my finger. This looks like a bandage. And you do, I mean, we, we, we're not even afforded the luxury of, of, you know, not having to have that thing in our hands, thinking that that's screwing up your body English. And that's what I explain to people. Um, but you can't walk along. If I see videos where people are walking along, filming the dog as it heals beside them, first I get very sick and I'm just like, oh my God, it's messing up your body language. If, you, if you're holding a remote, a leash, and a phone pointing at the dog, you, you don't have any right body English at all. Am I wrong? Anyway, I just like inviting everyone now. I'm so friendly. The new Kelly's friendly. <laughs> she said, really? Not really. <sighs> Some people need me in their life, though. If you said, hey, I'd like two people. <laughs> Lorenzo and someone else. Uh, if you said, we don't know who it is yet. Anyway, but he's ready to go. It's a little bit cooler out today. So if you said, how do you want to start? I think this is how we need to think of it, Lorenzo. We're going to start the whole thing by letting the dog send the friend request. If you said, why? Yeah. If you said why, the dog needs to send the friend request. If you said why, so we can loom that over their head later. So I can say things like, listen, Lorenzo, you're the one that friended me. I mean, Angus, listen, Angus. <laughs> loom this over their head. In a way, I mean, again, if they're the ones that's trying to get your attention. He's trying to get my attention. I'm not even looking at him. So if you said, what is it going to, you know, if I'm not even looking at him, but I am looking at this place. I see nothing but my beloved footstool. Oh my god! Uh oh. Treats are falling. If you said, is that good? No. So I've never had this chameleon on him. It seems to work. If you said, how am I going to do it? I'm just going to do it in conjunction with my movement. Oh my god! I don't like that. This is our answer. This is, oh, hi, Tanya. Oh, I should have tagged you, girl. I want you to really think about the world and the. If you said, what do I think when I, when I see you? I think she's not looking deep enough. That's what I think. If you said about the dogs. The dogs, but other things too. If you said people, because I want to see the good in them. Kind of. Kind of. I don't want things to be as complicated as they are. I really don't. I really don't want it to be as complicated. You know, but it's just the last like three people, like George, I asked him because I said, Frisbee still does the thing, picks the stuff up. No, we don't work with them. I could tell. I already said that. I guess they do have four kids, so if you said, I'm sure they do work with them, but like Connie doesn't work with Luke, you know, you've got to though. I want it to just be where you don't have to invest any time in the relationship, but that's not how it works. It's just not how it works. So anyway, but he's, you know, he doesn't see any of these things. He's, he's not looking at, <laughs> so as soon as I hit the bed, he's all Mr. Denson. He's all about Mr. Denson shoes. <laughs> He's unbelievable. Am I wrong? No, he's all Mr. Dancing Shoes as soon as I hit that pager. If you said it's immediately going right to the stomach. I, I'm going to post some videos, but I, I understand you need to film. And if you're doing it right, if you're tapping into the right part of their brain or whatever, the instinctual part, they are saying food is forthcoming because that's the part of my body that tells me you finna get something to eat. Oh, it's yummy, yummy, yummy. I understand. Oh, oh my God, the moves, the dog has. Nobody's ever seen dancing like this. He's actually going airborne. I definitely have to get that. 
Alright, he heals though. Now he's got some fancy feet. I don't like the footstool slew. If the footstool's not flying, you're not really trying. Oh, here's our new motto when I was up. Here, here's our new motto. Listen. If the footstool ain't flying, they ain't really trying. It just sounds, that, that sounds a little rednecky. <laughs> well, I know, but <laughs> we'll push posh it up for the Brits. <laughs> if the footstool isn't terrible and you're not, well, we'll think of something. All right. You see, though, he's putting all of it into it. If you said, what now? I'm going to let him race over there. Five million boxes at my gate. I wondered why nothing came for like three days. All right, but look, Lorenzo, I'm I'm letting him. I'm not. I'm not. And Kathy, if you're there, that's where you're going wrong. You're never going completely. Oh my gosh! Be careful. Accidents happen. I mean, it's a big, chunky dog, too. For him to get all this air and everything, it's not as easy as you'd think. No, he's a chunk of monka. You know, he plays piano, all of it. But you can see the healing is the same thing. All right, if I want to get rid of the footstool for a second, I can do the healing. But it's just, again, wherever my little marks were, I'm just starting right there. Anybody, you gotta, you got to start people right there, Lorenzo. You've got to get them standing halfway right with their feet together and just be able to get, if they can't even do that, they're not, can't even move on. They're not going to be able to walk and do it. Let's put it that way. Let's, let's put it this way, Lorenzo. If they're not even able to stand in one place and give the dog a treat on their left side, they're not going to be able to walk and do it. They've got to master that first. But then I'm gone. I keep going. Anyway, he's super cute. Am I wrong? And I mean, he's got a lot of fluidity. He's never had this chameleon on. He's never had it on, but he's still saying, okay, I guess my cue. That's my cue. All right. What about? He does turn the other way, too. Oh, he's got a Anyway, and he's got it to fall down. So he's got a lot to go. But if you said, yeah, now he's getting a little bit winded. So what do you do? What do you do? Now he's got the default down. If I say, I need comfort, I need your chin on my lap. I try to scoot away. Afraid of dogs. He's so big. I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared of dogs. <laughs> oh, get him away. That's what it would be. If I said, like, get him away, they keep fudging up on him. You know they would. Get him away. <laughs> oh, he's my best friend. <laughs> and if they're not even able to sit still without just rubbing the dog's head off, well, whatever. Anyway, you can get it activated again. You can activate it all right away. There's my pager. He's like a big butter buns. He's like a big butter buns. So that's all cold. And to sit there and say, this needs to be gotten rid of, it dismisses my whole work. To say the pager needs to be just removed from e-collars. He wishes they would just take it away. Gives me a shake off. Wishes they would just take it away. Get rid of it. Oh, okay. So let's have a contest. That, that'd be my advice. Yeah, yeah there's no, there, first off, there's no dancing bulldogs like this thing. Look at him. Listen, Mr. Grumpalumpagus. I'm going to race him over there. 
You see where he could learn to do a skateboard, don't you? They have this little tykes thing. It's like this roller coaster for like little kids that, you know, I mean, it's not like really a roller coaster. It's just like, I think it just cause like goes like down, not very far, but, you know, just for like two or three year olds or whatever. But if I could get him going on that, look at all his wrinkles. You see how I could though. If, if you said, how would I do it? I would just put a skateboard. I mean, same thing. Going, I'd have to run alongside. You're saying that I wouldn't, no, I've seen all kind of flashier bulldogs than this shit. And this dog had an advantage. That's what makes me mad in life, Jenny. And I don't know if you've ever experienced that. I'm sure you have. But, you know, I get these men, this guy, I'm not going to say this guy's name, but this guy was like a six foot two uh, ex military cop and like 20 years my junior and trying to say that, well, he can't make videos. And I have an advantage here because I can just, <laughs> okay, that's, I have an advantage. So, <laughs> I, I didn't really used to understand why people would say that, but it's, it's, it's one diminishing what you do. You have an advantage, so you you know it's you're certainly not putting more effort into it. You you just have an advantage. It's like oh my god. Anyway, all right. Anyway, he's like such a cute dog. Am I wrong? He's built like a tank. Look at him. Angels, angels. Look at his face. No, he's just a big old cookie monster. All right, guys, hang on. I'll be right back. Huh?